Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor Mailbag. This is where I answer interesting questions sent in by you, the viewer. And today's interesting question is this. Uh, my teacher today was talking about how 0.999 repeating is actually equal to 1. This seems like a really crazy idea. Is my teacher mistaken, or are they right? Well, the interesting part about this question that got sent to me is that the teacher is actually correct. When you're talking about 0.999 repeating on forever, it actually is equal to 1. The hardest part of, uh, about this is it doesn't seem like the two things should be equal. In fact, when I tell people about this particular situation, people will say, well, yeah, that makes sense, 0.99 is about 1, or it's very close to 1. Uh, I have to remind them that no, no, it actually is equal to 1, and that equality in mathematics is a very strong thing to say, and when I'm talking about equal, I mean they are exactly the same thing. So let me show you three different ways that we can look at this problem and why they are equal. Uh, the first way we're going to approach this is to look at some other numbers and their decimal and how they repeat. So one number that many people are familiar with is one-third. And many people will say, well, that's equal to 0 0.3333, 3, 3, 3, and that just goes on and on forever. I say, great, you know, that's a great way to uh, uh, actually approach what we're doing. Let's take a couple more of these and take their decimals as well. So 0 0.3333, 0 0.3333, 3, and both of these go on forever. If I were to come along and add things up, you could see on the left side, I would get 1, and on the right side, I would get 0.9. 9, 9, 9, repeating. Which shows that 1 actually is equal to 0.9 repeating. Now you might be saying, wait a minute, does this always work? Can you show me another situation where these two things are really equal? And fortunately, I can. Let's do this another way. Suppose I start out with our number 0.999 repeating. And let's go ahead and just call this thing maybe n. Now, if I take my number and I multiply it by 10, that has the effect of shifting over the decimal place. Other than that, I'll still get a whole bunch of 9s going on and on forever. So this is the same as my number, only I've multiplied it by 10. Now, rather than adding things, I'm going to subtract them. If I look on the left side, 10n minus 1n would give me 9n. If I look at the right side and I subtract, a lot of things will cancel out. 9 minus 9, 9 minus 9, except for this guy. This guy will still be there. And with what's left over is I have a simple equation that I could then solve for my number. So with this, maybe divide both sides by 9, and I get that n is equal to 1. And you might be saying, great, n equals 1, but what does this really show? Well, that's exactly what my original number was. So it shows that 1 is indeed 0.999 repeating. Now, if you're still not convinced, that's okay. i got one more argument to kind of sway you, okay? For this last argument, uh, here's how I'm going to approach it. Suppose that I have two numbers and they are not equal. For example, I know that 1 is not equal to 2. And one way that I can test that two things are not equal is I could actually find another number in between them. In this example, I know the two are not equal because I can fit in another number, say 1 and a half, right in between the two. Now, I can keep using this argument even for numbers that are really, really close. For example, I know that 1.1 is not equal to 1. And, and why is that? Why wouldn't the 2 be equal? Because I can fit another number right in between the two. So maybe like 1.05. Well, I know that that's a, you know, halfway between the two, so you know, the 2 can't be the same. Now here's our problem with this. If I want to try and say that 1 
is not equal to 0 0.9999, then I should be able to find some number that fits right in between the two. Right? If I really want to show they're not equal, I need to find a number. The only problem is, no number exists. You can't come up with a number that will fit exactly in between the two. It just can't be done. In fact, maybe if you try, you know, say you try and fit this really small number and say, well, maybe it's actually in between all of those nines. But it's not. This guy is actually smaller than this one. It's, you know, it's not big enough. Well, maybe I didn't go out enough nines. Is this guy exactly in between the two? No, it's still smaller than 0.999 repeating. You can never find a number in between the two. Well, since there's no space between the numbers, they must be the same number. Therefore, 0.999 repeating is actually equal to 1. Keep sending in your interesting questions and comments, and you will have more material for the mailbag.